Patrick. Hello. Doctor, this is my son, Patrick. Uh, Paddy. Pleased to meet you. Doctor Newport's a specialist, Patrick. Yes, I'm the third opinion your mother's taken. I've identified what's wrong, but it's as my colleagues thought. There's nothing we can do. So, how uh, long? Uh, well, it's impossible to say with any certainty. But as long as she doesn't receive any shocks, anything that might mm, alarm or upset her, she could live for another six months. Might be a good idea if you were resting at home rather than a B&B. Oh, but I wanted to be near you, my baby. I know. Look, I'm, I'm really sorry that I doubted that you were ill. I could come and see you every day in Harrogate. Oh, you'll never know how pleased that'd make me. But what about that lady friend of yours? I'll talk to Monday. Right, that's that lot done. Finished already, Betty? Yeah. Just got this floor to mark now. And the pumps to polish. Ah. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> you always forget them blasted <laughs> pumps. How about we tie a knot in your cloth till you remember? <laughs> <laughs> Everything all right? Mm -hmm. Just had my Gavin on the phone. Oh, I didn't hear it ring. Well, it did. How is he? He's fine. Sends his love. Mm. He's just gone to do his 100 press-ups and 200 sit-ups. It'd be no surprise to me if he don't end up shirtless on the front of some fitness magazine one day. So, has he given you any idea how much longer it's going to be before we clap eyes on him? Too much sugar, not enough milk. My Wally never went in for that exercise stuff. He always used to say it's what folks who weren't satisfied in other areas did. <laughs> That'd be why Gavin's so into it then. <laughs> what time do you call this? Sorry, Chris, I overslept. I bet you did. It won't happen again, I promise. Who right it won't? I've said I'm sorry. I can't say I blame him. If I was with that bird from the diner, I wouldn't want to get up and go to work either. I haven't been with Cathy. That's all finished. Don't know what you saw in him in the first place. Uh, yeah, well, uh, give the lad a break, eh? Chris, I need you to check out this proposal for a tender. But we need to do it now. I'm just so sorry. I mean, will you ever forgive me? Mandy, it's all right. I spoke to the doctor and she's fine. You haven't done her any harm. Is he sure? Yeah. Um, but there's something I've got to tell him. What? <clears throat> uh, I've sort of told me one that I'll go and see her every day in Arrogant. And what about your job? Oh, I'll fit it in. Uh, I just need time to be with her. You do understand, don't you? Of course I do. I mean, she's your mum. I think you should be spending time with her. But I don't want you to worry about me and you. We'll st still find time to see each other. Yeah, well, I've been thinking. Maybe we shouldn't see each other. Until after she's dead. Monday? Well, you should be with her. You don't want to have to deal with a relationship. I'm not finishing with you. Oh, you don't get it. You're not going to be able to find time to spend time with me. I'll find time. And I'm not going to run off with anybody else. Mandy, for the last time, we are not splitting up. Shouldn't you be at work? Working from home. How are you? I'm great. How's Pete? <sighs> Shouldn't I be asking you that? You're the one he works for. But I thought the two of you were an item. No. No, it didn't work out. You know how that happens sometimes. Well, I'm sure it won't be long before you find Mr. Wright. 
You can say, might even be right under your nose. It's funny you should say that. He has been for a long time, and I was too blind to see it. Bored of the same thing day in, day out. <laughs> What's up? I just. I'm sorry if you think I overstepped the mark with Joseph. Oh, it's only because you're concerned. I suppose I'm starting to feel like a father to him. Protective. Never apologise for caring. I, I thought we could invite Kathy and Biff over for a meal tonight. It's about time we started having people round. Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> what was that for? Don't be such a worrier. It's nice to meet someone who cares so much. <laughs> Biff Fowler. That's right. What is wrong with you? If you go mad, he is a village oik. He's a lovely guy. He's a glorified pot wash. He is a restaurant manager. Let's see what he's got to gain. What's that supposed to mean? Well, think about it. Why do you think he was so keen on Tara? Because he loved her. Because she was loaded. Kathy, you've got a thriving business here. Not to mention your divorce settlement. Is it really so hard to work out what he's up to? How dare you! What's going on? Nothing. nothing. Why can't you just stay away from Chris? That? I beg your pardon? Go and find yourself a loser, someone you've got more in common with. Say that again. Oh, you wasted space. Biff, no, stop it, the pair of you! What's the matter, Chris? Are you jealous? Who are you? I'd like you to leave right now. Don't worry. I've done my fair share of crying this year, Barbara. It's going to be nice to have something to rejoice in. But on the young side to be getting married, Joe Kelly. Paddy and Mandy name the day, have they? Oh, don't talk to me about it, Vivian. I really can't bear to think of them. They are still getting hitched, though, aren't they? What does it matter to me now? I'll be gone in a few months. Patrick won't have to worry about pleasing me. Have you only got that long? It's all over, bar the shouting. Oh, I am sorry. You've just got to try and think positive. At least you won't have to worry about how to uh, celebrate the millennium. Well, if you're feeling well enough, you'll still be around for our family wedding. Will Mandy be there? I should think so. And Paddy? <sighs> no offence, Vivian. But the sight of a white dress anywhere near that blasted girl would be enough to send me skyward. Point taken. Still. Patrick said he'll come and visit me every day in Harrogate. Oh, I am pleased. Yes. So am I. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, stop nagging a woman. Would you have a business to run? I'm sure you can manage. It's not my responsibility. It's what you're good at, isn't it? And what the hell was so important that you had to rush off like that? If you must know, I went to see Cathy. Please don't tell me you're chasing after her again. Of course I'm not. Stop jumping to ridiculous conclusions. Well, whatever's going on, you better get your priorities sorted or you won't have any business left. It is up to me when I leave the office. Oh, is it? Yeah, well, from tomorrow, you won't have me to support you, so you better find yourself another lackey. Why? Where are you going? My firm's been on at me to take up a position in their hot office. You can't just leave without giving me some notice. I'm not one of your staff, Chris. Well, where am I going to find another secretary overnight? I was not your secretary. Oh, and another thing. What? You lost that contract. You know the one you were too busy to come back and check over earlier? I hope that's your idea of a joke. No, I needed a signature. You could have asked Sean. Well, he'd vanished into thin air, which made two of you. That was Rachel on the phone. She's invited us round for dinner this evening. Beth, you don't want to take any notice of Chris. I don't. He's got a vicious tongue in him sometimes. Sometimes? Cathy, I'm not the one he's got a problem with. He wants you all to himself. Maybe. But he hasn't got me. Well, then why don't you make him realise that? It's 
not my fault he still feels the way he does. You no, know, I can't help my past. Yeah, but who's to say he's not going to try and split us up? <sighs> what can he do? Cathy, I know that you're not going to run off with him, but he's going to try his damnedest to make sure you're unhappy with anybody else. Well, whatever he does, he is not going to succeed. <laughs> All the best, Laura. Yeah. All the best, Laura. Cheers. All the best. Don't know what's happened to Chris. You did ask him to come, didn't you? Oh, I expect he's got other things on his mind. Hi. Well, hi, Zoe. Thanks for coming. Uh, my pleasure. What would you like to drink? Scotch, please. Can I get anyone else anything? Pete's about to get a round in, Zoe. Me again? <laughs> you sit down here. <laughs> It's amazing that some people get exactly what they want. Others, like me, don't stand a chance. You're asking the wrong bloke there, love. You're right, the moment, are you? What, skimming for Chris Day? I used to manage this place. You'll be all right. Yeah, and so will you. You just gotta do what you think's best for you and Paddy. I mean, things might not work out the way you planned, but at least you'll have done what you felt were right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, wash your hands, you. Mm -hmm. Hiya. All right. It's Frankie, isn't it? Certainly is. Looks like those two are hitting it off. Don't say Zoe's taken to chasing that one now. Well, let's face it, she's pretty much ticked off every other woman round here. Did you come from Shotton originally? <laughs> What's funny? What's your name and where do you come from? <laughs> I reckon we might see the first kiss before the night's through. Kiss? Well, there's no law against it. Oh, this is lovely. Mm. Thank you. It's nice to have a man who enjoys doing the cooking, eh, Rachel? Absolutely. Not that I mind slaving over a hot stove, but after you've been at school all day... <laughs> I'm not all day too. Yeah, no, but you're a superman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to be there until later on in the evenings come September. Where's that? I've been offered a promotion. Already? Graham! Miss Strickland's asked me to become head of my department. Oh. Oh, congratulations, mate. That is fantastic. And there's a pay increase. Well, I would hope so. So it means we could think about starting a family together. Pardon? I know it's what you'd like for Joseph, a, a brother or a sister. You could have another baby. Oh, Rachel, that's a lovely idea. <laughs> Graham, I think we should talk about this later. <laughs> no, but don't you see, you'd also get to spend more time with Joseph. Graham, that's enough. We'll talk about it later. I'm sorry. It's only an idea. I'm just saying, I could support us. You, me, Joseph and... Graham, will you just leave it? We'll talk about it when we're on our own. <clears throat> anyway, that's uh, that's great news, mate. Yeah. I thought so. Are you seeing anyone? Uh, not at the moment. Right, you got your eye on someone then. I uh, did have. <laughs> you changed your mind. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just that she. Uh, well, she didn't feel the same way. Well, at least you went for it. So what about you? I'm sorry to hear about you and Cathy, mate. She don't know what she's missing, good-looking lad like you. Thanks, Frankie. I worked in a gay bar once. Well, it wasn't gay, it just sort of became it. What? Do you mean all your customers suddenly turned the other way? No, oh, I'd have done more than that. I'd have walked out. No, of course not. I mean, more gay people started coming. Mind you. Do you hear of people turning? Mm, quite often happens. Women starved of the opposite sex. A friend of mine knew this bloke in the army. Went in straight, came out gay. No women, see? Well, the army? In my life. Here, you sure about your Gavin? Out on that oil rig for weeks at a time with not a woman in sight? Joking. No luck then, eh? How about you and me go and find ourselves somewhere a bit more private? No, thank you, I'm fine. Uh, everything all right? I was just saying to Zoe we should all go on somewhere. You know, in town. Oh, well, I'd love to, but I'm absolutely shattered. I'm up for it. Yeah, and me. It's dead in here. It's a bit on the genteel side. Well, why don't we get a couple of cabs back into one? Excellent. Brilliant idea. What 
Whatever's the matter, love? I'll be all right in a minute, Betty. Is it your Gavin? Or have you had a do? Me and Gavin are fine. And I could do without Trisha's clever comments and all. <laughs> oh, come on, love. She's only joking. Yeah, well, it's not funny. What isn't? Oh, come on, lass. Sit yourself down. Hey? Now, tell me what's wrong. Four years we were together. You and your husband? Tony, yeah. I thought it was going to be forever, Betty. You know how you do when you stood at that altar, your heart doing somersaults. Now, what brought all this on? We've been trying for children ever since we got wed. I thought that's what he wanted, me and two kids. Shows how wrong you can be, mm. eh? It happens. The number of times I've wondered where I might be now if I hadn't come home early. I was doing a night class and it was cancelled. Came in the front door, shouted hello, no answer. Had he gone? He was upstairs with his best mate. In bed. Another man. <laughs> I mean, what was wrong with me? So you see, it's not funny. Oh, Lord. Whatever did you do? I left him. Shut my eyes, pointed on the map, moved to Leeds. The only time in my life I've ever been spontaneous. Well, sometimes it's the only thing to do. When all your best laid plans have gone haywire. Oh, don't talk to me about plans, Betty. Four years I lost to that man. I'm four years behind schedule. You can't run your life by a schedule. You'd, you'd get mad if you did with disappointment. And then Trisha starts joking that Gavin might be one as well. I'm not prejudiced, Betty. I do try not to be. But when it happened, I was so angry, so disgusted. I was his wife. And now every time I see or hear the word, it all comes back to me. Come on, love. Come on. That's all in the past now. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. You've got a lovely man who's asked you to marry him. You're Gavin. I know. It'd be all right now, Betty, won't it? Oh. Of course it will, love. Hey, you've got to believe that. I want to. <laughs> Thanks, Betty. Saw <sighs> yeah. so Paddy's mum today. Oh, yeah? In the right state, doctors are giving her weeks. Yeah, well, there's still a chance she can survive a bit longer. And if she stays calm, <laughs> that's the way it is when it's your heart that's playing you up. Well, you'd have seen for yourself yesterday. Paddy said that she was fine and that I didn't do her any harm. He doesn't want you to worry. But after a near miss like she had last night, the slightest upset could uh, finish her off. That's it. Taxis are here. Right. See you later. Oh, see you later. Yes, see you. Oh, have a good evening. Frankie. Sorry. Frankie, are you sure you don't want to stay here? I mean, maybe they're just after a boys' night out. That's fine by me if they are. Well, Laura's staying here. Well, would you like to join us? It's not really my sort of place for a night out. Well, uh, would you like to come back to mine for a coffee? <laughs> I'll be fine. I'll go out with them all the time. I'll see you around. I could have gone with them, you know. No, I think I'd rather stay here. Anyway, I'm with you. I'll get some more drinks in. Oh, nice one. Same again. Please. I've been watching you tonight. Sorry? It's quite obvious you fancy her. <laughs> she seems a right laugh, actually. You'd say so, would you? Oh, yeah, life and soul. It's just a pity she was so busy chatting to everyone else. Still, give her time. I beg your pardon? Well, you never know your luck. <coughs> it must be hard being the only one around for miles. At least when I'm after a bloke, there's hundreds to choose from. You must feel really desperate sometimes. Yes. To get away from people like you. Word of advice. That's two people you sent running off tonight. What's needed is a little bit more in the way of tact. That went well. Did it? You didn't think so. Graham, there are some things that we should discuss in private, not when we've got company. Rachel? We have never considered starting a family. Then you decide to bring it up when we got guests. I'm furious! The option's there. That's all I was trying no, to say. No, it wasn't all you were trying to say. Look, I don't want to give up my job. 
I don't want to be a housewife. I don't want another child. Rachel, calm down. You are out of order. OK, I'm sorry. But I wish you'd stop blowing hot and cold. This morning, you told me how nice it was to have someone who thought of you and Joseph as family. <laughs> now you don't like it. Look, he's not... It's not what you were trying to say. It's when you decided to say it. We've not discussed it. But it is what I said, isn't it? You just said you don't want another child. Look, I can do without this, Graham. I'm... I'm happy. I'm happy with my job. I'm happy with just having Joseph. I, you know, I, I'm glad that you've got promotion, but, you know, I, I just don't want to rush it, OK? Paddy? Go on seeing you. I've been thinking about it all day and I can't do it. But we've decided. I'll just be in the way. You need to spend time with your mum, and I understand that. But if you carry on seeing me, you won't be able to spend as much time with her as you should. I'll divide the time between the two of you. Imagine how you feel if she died when you're with me. I can't put you through that. Mandy, you, you can't do this. Believe me, I'm doing it for you. I'll be here for you. After. Well, that's it, then we just split up, just like that. Well, it's not as if we can go through this together. Your mother hates me. You've got to make the next few months the best they could ever be for her. And you don't want to be thinking about anyone else. Please believe me. <laughs> Right, can, can we not just try and make a go of it? It'd be a disaster. I'm not leaving you forever. I'm being practical. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not... Look after her, won't you? <laughs> 